Hey y'all. Um, today's lesson is the first lesson in Unit 6, and it's about ratios and rates. Um, you are going to need a calculator, so if you don't have one, pull one up on your computer, or just know that we'll be using calculators. I have my calculator. And the first thing we need to do There's something really gross on my floor. I don't know what it is. Um, there are some vocabulary, so you need to write these words down. Get the definition. I'm going to explain them to you. So a ratio. First word, ratio. A comparison of two quantities. A comparison of two quantities. And there are three ways to write a ratio. You can either use a colon, the word two, or a fraction bar. So, for example, um, if we wanted to do the ratio of um, girls to boys, let's just say, for example, girls to boys. So, let's say we have 13 girls, 14 boys, 13 to 14, or 13 to 14. So, those are the three ways to write a ratio. So, make sure you get that down. The second word is rate. A rate is a ratio comparing two things in different units. Different units. So an example of that would be um, boys and girls are like the same unit. But let's say you're going to drive um, 300 miles in five hours. That is a rate because you're comparing miles and hours. So a rate is comparing two things in different units. Two things in different units. And the very last definition is unit rate. A unit rate is a rate, notice rate, when the second item is one unit. When the second item is one unit. So you've heard things like miles per hour, miles per gallon, um, feet per second. Those are unit rates when you have that word per. Per gallon, per mile, per second. Those are unit rates. And so a unit rate is when the second item is one unit. And we're going to do examples of those. So pause this, get the vocabulary down. All right, so example one. In Molly's class, there are 12 brown eyed children. 14 children have blue eyes, and 4 kids have green eyes. So that's in Molly's class. 14 brown eyes, oh no, no, sorry, 12 brown eyes, 14 blue, and 4 green. So we're talking about eyes. Uh, a, write a ratio of brown, notice B R brown to green. So to write a ratio, three ways. First, we need to find brown. So there's 12 brown and 4 green. Uh, the other thing you need to do with the ratio is we always have to reduce. So let's reduce 12 and 4. And 4 will go to both of them, so we're going to reduce them both. 12 divided by 4 is 3. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So the answer would be 3 brown to 1 green, 3 to 1, or 3 to 1. So those are the three ways to write a ratio. And remember, you always reduce. Always, always, always reduce. Let's do B. The ratio of blue to all. So there's 14 blue. And how many all? To find all, we need to add them all together. So 12 plus 14 plus 4. So 30. Um, 14 to 30. Can we reduce that? We have to reduce. So let's see, divide them both by 2, and we get 7 to 15. Will anything go to 7 to 15? No. So 7 to 15 and 7 to 15. So that means for every 7 blue eyes, 15 all. That is a ratio, 7 blue eyes to 15 total. Alright, so you try this one. There are 75 students 
and 15 teachers. Notice, 75 students and 15 teachers. I think that is your bell. It's 117. Um, so, of course, I'm sure it's ringing early. So, I think that's your bell probably to go from 7th period to 8th period, maybe. Um, 75 students, 15 teachers. So, write three ratios all three ways colon to fraction bar of teachers to students. Notice teachers to students. You have to start with teachers, teachers to students. And make sure you reduce. So pause the video, work on this problem, and then press play when you're ready for me to go over it. All right, teachers, there are 15 teachers, and students, there are 75. Um, so what can go into 15 and 75? Five, so we're going to divide by five, and I know that's three, and 75 divided by five. 15, and we can divide these both by 3, and that's 1 fifth. So notice I reduced it, divided by 5, divided by 3, so 1 fifth to 1 fifth to 1 fifth. And that is the ratio of three ways of teachers to students. Ratio in three ways. So now we are in oops. now we are in rates and unit rates. So let's talk about rates and unit rates. Rates are ratios that compare different units. So we're not talking about eyes, we're not talking about boys and girls. Um, we are talking about different units. And a unit rate is when you have a denominator of one. So let me explain. Uh, let's say you go to the store you buy pretzels. And pretzels cost uh, 260 for 12 ounces. You can get a 12 ounce bag for $2.60. There are two ways to find the unit rate. And whenever you're doing rate, you always do a fraction. So the two ways to find the unit rate is you can put ounces on top over money. Or you can put money on top over ounces. It depends on what you're looking for, but you can do a unit rate either way. And remember, we want the second quantity to equal 1. So we want our denominator to be 1. So over here, instead of $2.60, we only want $1. So we have to divide by 260. So in your calculator, you're going to type in 12 divided by 260, and that gives us 4.615, so we're going to round that to 4.6 ounces. So this means the unit rate for $1, you can get 4.6 ounces. That is a unit rate. The other way to do the unit rate is to put the money on top and the ounces on bottom. So I want to have, instead of 12 ounces, I want 1 ounce. So I'm going to divide by 12. So 260 divided by 12. 260 divided by 12. And you get 0.2166666 repeating. So I'm going to round that to 22. So this means... That's the target value. Uh, this means one ounce costs 22 cents. One ounce costs 22 cents, or you can get 4.6 ounces for a dollar. So these are unit rates. Unit rates. All right. Let me do another example with you. Four. Cody can run six miles and 57 minutes. So Cody can run six miles and 57 minutes. I don't know if that's good or bad. Uh, so to set up a rate, we start with our ratio, six miles over 57 minutes, and 57 minutes over six miles. 
So these are rates. And then we want to find a unit rate. A unit rate. So unit rate means one unit. So right here, instead of 57 minutes, I want one minute. And I'm going to divide by 57. So I type in my calculator, 6 divided by 57. And I get 0 0.105. So that's going to be 0 0.11. That means in one minute, Cody can run 0.1100 miles. That doesn't seem very far. So maybe he's running really slow. Um, over here, six miles. We want one mile. For a unit rate, you want your denominator to be one. So we're going to divide by six. So 57 divided by six is 9.5 minutes. So this says it takes Cody nine and a half minutes to run one mile. Nine and a half minutes? That's really slow, isn't it? That's like walking. Maybe this should say Cody can walk. But nine and a half minutes for one mile, and these are unit rates. Unit rates. Notice 1, 1, 1, 1. So a unit rate has a denominator of 1 unit. Alright, so example 5, these are better buy problems. Better buy. I like these problems. And your mom and dad will appreciate it if you can appreciate it if you can help them uh, go shopping and get the better buy. So we have two options, two bottles of shampoo. Everybody needs shampoo because we all wash our hair, hopefully. And we can either get 15 ounces for $4.20 or we can get 22 ounces for $5.06. So my question to you is, which one is a better deal? Which one do you get more for your money? So let me show you how to find that out. We need to find the unit rate. We need to find the unit rate. And it's better to put your money on top. So we're going to do $4.20 over 15 ounces and $5.06 over 22 ounces. So I've set up rates and I put my money on top and my ounces on bottom. So to find the unit rate, we're going to divide by 15 and we're going to divide by 22. which gives us one ounce because 15 divided by 15 is one and 22 divided by 22 is one. So take your calculator and you're going to type in $4.20 divided by 15 and that gives you 28 cents. So that means this bottle of shampoo is 28 cents per dollar. I mean, 28 cents per ounce. 28 cents per ounce. This one we type in five dollars and six cents divided by 22. Five dollars and six cents divided by 22, and it's 23 cents per ounce. So if you know this one for one ounce is 28 cents, for this one one ounce is 23 cents. Which one is a better deal? Which one do you get more for your money, or which one costs less per ounce? So if you were going to get one ounce, you could either pay 28 cents or you could pay 23 cents. So which one would you want to buy? This one. So this is the better buy. Because one ounce costs less. It's a nickel less. And again, you do this by finding the unit rate. The unit rate. You try number six. You're at Sam's Club, and you have to, two choices for diapers. Do I need some diapers in my future? Yes, because you know I'm having a baby, so I'm going to need some diapers. So if I'm going to the store, I have, two, I have two choices. I can get the value diapers. You can get 96 diapers for $16.32. Or I can get the super value, where I can get 120 diapers for $24. 
So my question to you is, help me make the better purchase. Which one is a better deal? Which one do I get more for my money? So which is a better deal? Which do you get more for your money? Which one costs the least per diaper? So which one costs the least per diaper? So you're going to set up a rate and then find a unit rate. And we're going to go over this question tomorrow in class. Hopefully you can tell me which box of diapers to get so I can make my money go farther. And we'll talk about this tomorrow. Bye.